Hello everyone! Our lesson for today is all about fractions. All about the similar fraction. And our objective is to add and subtract similar fractions. Okay, so first, what is fraction? Fraction, it represents a part of a whole. Okay, for example, in the circle, this part is one-fourth. This is a part of a whole circle. Then we have the parts of fraction. We have 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. Okay, 1 is what we call the numerator. 4 is what we call the denominator. Okay, let's recall and remember that we have similar fractions. When we say similar fractions, same denominators. Example, we have 1 over 8, 5 over 8. 3 over 8, 7 over 8. Okay? So, same denominators or magkakapareho ang denominators. Then, we have the dissimilar fractions. Pag sinabi natin dissimilar fractions, different denominators o magkakaiba ang denominators. Example, 2 over 5, 7 over 9, 3 over 8, 1 over 4. Okay? Again, we have similar fractions same denominators o pareho ang denominators. Similar, dissimilar fractions or different denominators magkaiba ang denominators. Okay, ngayon naman ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-add ng dissimilar fractions. Kung paano mag-add ng magkaiba ang denominators ng fractions. Okay, example number 1. 1 over 3 plus 4 over 7. Okay? Kung makikita natin, yung fractions natin ay magkaiba ang denominator, which is 3 at saka 7. So, ang gagawin natin, get the equivalent fractions. So, paano natin kukunin yung equivalent fractions? Which is, um, ang denominator ng first fraction is 3, second fraction is 7. Okay? So, kukunin natin yung LCM. We're going to find the LCM or the least common multiple of 3 and 7. Okay? There we have 3 and 7. Multiple of 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay? Multiple of 7, we have 7, 14, 21, 28. Okay, pipiliin natin kung alin yung may pinakamalapit na uh, common multiple ng dalawang denominators, which is 3 and 7. So, ang common multiple is 21. So, yan yung gagawin natin LCD. Okay, our LCD now is 21, the least common denominator. Okay, so it becomes 1 over 21. Plus 4 over 21. Okay, so this is the equivalent fraction of 1 third plus 4 seventh. Okay, yung denominator natin, papalitan natin ng LCD, which is 21. Okay, let's continue. 1 over 3 plus 4 over 7 equals... The equivalent fraction is 1 over 21 plus 4 over 21. And then, the next step is, i-divide natin yung 21, yung, yung LCD, doon sa so first denominator natin. Okay? So, first, we're going to rewrite 1. Yung numerator ng first fraction, we have 1 over 21, which is yung LCD. And then, divide 21 divided by 3. So, we have now 7. Okay, 1 times 7. Okay, plus, rewrite natin yung 4. 4 over 21. And then, i-divide natin 21 divided by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Yun yung imumultiply natin sa numerator na 4. Okay, next, simplify natin. 1 times 7 is 7. Therefore, we have 7 over 21. 
plus 4 times 3 is 12 over 21. Okay? So, since same na sila ng denominator, ia-add natin yung numerator nila. 7 plus 12 equals 19. And then, copy the common denominator, 21. Therefore, the answer is 19 over 21. Okay, next example number 2. We have 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4. It is equal to. Okay, first step is get the equivalent fraction. To get the equivalent fraction, okay, yung denominator na, na, na 5 at 4, kukunin natin yung LCM or the what we call the least common multiple. So, now we have 5 and 4. Multiple of 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. While multiple of 4 is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay, and then pipiliin natin kung alin ang may pinakamalapit na common multiple ng 5 and 4. So, ang pinakamalapit na common multiple ng 5 and 4 is 20. So, yun yung gagawin nating LCD or the least common denominator which is 20. And then, to change natin siya sa equivalent fraction natin, which is 1 over 20. Okay, let's continue. We have 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4. It is equal to the equivalent fraction 3 over 20 plus 1 over 20. And then, the next step is i -re rewrite natin yung 3 over 20. Okay? And then, i-divide natin yung 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So, yung 4 na yun, yung ita, yun yung ita times natin sa 3. So, 3 times 4. Plus, okay, rewrite natin yung 1 over 20. So, we have 1 over 20. And then, i-divide natin yung denominator na 20 divided by 4. Okay, 20 divided by 4 equals... 5. So, yun yung ita times natin sa numerator na 1. And then, the next step is to simplify. So, 3 times 4 is 12 over 20. Okay, 12 over 20 plus 1 times 5 is 5 over 20. So, 12 over 20 plus 5 over 20. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron na tayong parehong denominator. Similar fraction na siya. Then, ang gagawin lang natin, i-add ang numerator. 12 plus 5 equals 17 over 20. So, ang final answer natin is 17 over 20. Okay? So, that is how to add the similar fraction. Na magka pag magkaiba ang denominator. Okay, ngayon naman tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-subtract ng dissimilar fractions. Kung paano mag-subtract na magkaiba ang denominators. Okay, we have here an example number 1. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 7. Okay, so first step na gagawin natin is to get the equivalent fraction. Paano natin kukunin ang equivalent fractions? So, ang denominator natin is 6 and 7 which is different denominators. Okay, ang gagawin natin is to find the LCM or to get the least common multiple. Okay, now, now we have 6 and 7. Okay, get the multiple of 6. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. And the multiple of 7, we have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and to find the LCD, pipiliin lang natin kung ano yung common multiple ng 6 and 7. Which is ang common multiple or the least common multiple ng 6 and 7 is 42. So, yun yung gagawin nating LCD or the least common denominator. And then, it is equivalent to 5 over 42 minus 2 over 42. Okay? Yung 42 na LCD, okay, change natin yung denominators ng 5 which is naging 42 denominators ng 2 which is 7 pinalitan ng 42 okay so okay let's continue we have 5 over 6 minus 2 over 7 it is equal to the equivalent fraction we have 5 over 42 minus 2 over 42 
And then, the next step is i -re -re write natin yung 5 over 42. Then, i-divide natin yung 42 sa 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So, yun yung i-multiply natin sa numerator na 5. Minus, okay, the next step is i -re -re write natin yung 2 over 42. Then, i-divide natin 42 divided by 7. 42 divided by 7 is 6. So, yun yung i-multiply natin sa numerator na 2. Okay, then the next step is to simplify. Multiply 5 and 7. So, 5 times 7 is 35. So, we have now 35 over 42. Minus 2 times 6 is 12. So, now we have 12 over 42. Okay, since pareho na sila ng denominators, ang gagawin na lang natin is to subtract ang numerator. So, 35 minus 12 is 23. And then, copy the common denominator 42. So, now we have the final answer, 23 over 42. Okay, so that is how to subtract the similar fractions. Okay, next, uh, let's have an example number 2. We have 7 over 8 minus 3 over 5. It is equal to, first is to get the equivalent fraction. Ang denominator natin is 8 and 5. So, find the LCM of 8 and 5 or the least common multiple. 8 and 5. Multiple of 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Multiple of 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So, pipiliin natin kung ano yung least common multiple o yung uh, magkapareho sila, pinakamalapit na magkapareho sila ng multiple, which is 40. So, yun yung gagamitin nating LCD or the least common denominator, which is 40. And then, write sa equivalent fraction, we have 7 over 40. Okay, so, change na natin siya ng LCD. Minus 3 over 40. Okay, so pinalitan natin yung mga denominators ng LCD na 40. Next step. So now let's continue. 7 over 8 minus 3 over 5 equals the equivalent fraction 7 over 30 minus 3 over 40. It is equal to. The first step is i -re -re write natin yung 7 over 40. After na rewrite yung 7 over 40, and then di-divide natin 40 divided by 8. Okay, 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. So, yun yung multiply natin sa numerator na 7. Minus, i -re -re write natin yung 3 over 40. So, we have 3 over 40. And then, divide natin 40 divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So, yun yung i-multiply natin sa numerator na 3. And then, the next step is to simplify. 7 times 5 is 35 over 40. Minus 3 times 8 is 24 over 40. Okay, since pareho na sila ng denominator, ang gagawin natin is to subtract their numerator. So, 35 minus 24 is 7. 11 over 40. Just copy the common denominator, 40. And our final answer is 11 over 40. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, our next upload is how to find the lowest terms and change improper fraction to proper fraction. So, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. And click the bell on para ma-notify kayo sa mga next upload. Thank you! watching for more videos visit my youtube channel matish and click playlist